Hello, this is Stefan Mückstein from Energy Lab. Uh, today I'm being joined by Bushra as my guest host. Uh, can you briefly introduce yourself? Uh, hi Stefan, thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Bushra and I manage the construction segment in the off-grid department at Enerware. I've been a part of Enerware for the past four years and uh, today we're going to be talking about one of my clients, P6. Excellent. Before we talk about the client, I want to ask everyone to hit the like button and subscribe if they haven't. And before we talk about the client, uh, let's talk a little bit about you. I also, as part of this uh, energy lab, I want to educate people that are interested in making a career in the renewable, uh, in the sustainable energy sector, how professionals uh, have basically gotten into this industry. Um, you graduated from University of Sharjah, right? Yes. What was your major and why did you choose it? Uh, that's correct. I did graduate from the University of Sharjah and my major was Renewable and Sustainable Energy Engineering. Uh, I actually started off as an electrical engineering student, but somewhere in my second semester I realized it was a bit too mainstream and I wanted to learn something new, something innovative, and that kind of led me to transition to the Renewable Energy program. Excellent. I also remember um, our first interaction that we had were, was when you applied for an internship. I think you were sort of halfway through your studies. You didn't have to do the internship as part of your curriculum, but you still were very adamant that you wanted to do the internship at that time. Can you tell me just a little bit about how you found out about the internship and, and why you chose to do it at that stage? Yeah, so I think this was back in July 2015 when um, I came across Enerware. I was actually halfway through, like you mentioned, I was in my second year and I had a little bit of knowledge about the industry, but I wanted to see what it was like, how it was implemented in the real life or in industry practice. And I came across Enerware during summer on Facebook <laughs> and uh, I thought it was the perfect opportunity um, that led me to the interview. Excellent, excellent. So that's, uh, I think, an important advice. It's not easy to get internships in general. Uh, right. So I, even though I advise students to look for internships and get this practical experience, I acknowledge that it's not easy. You did it, you were very determined uh, and you got your internship. Uh, I also remember that when you finished uh, your internship, we sort of had exit uh, interviews, sort of uh, what your experience was like in the, during the internship. And we had that with all of the interns, but also with you. And I remember vividly also the discussion with you. Uh, I remember that you challenged me, that y or you criticized <laughs> more or less me, <laughs> that uh, you were not challenged enough during the internship. Um, and uh, that sort of sticks out still and because I guess of that and because of your tenacity uh, we then decided to keep you on as a part term uh, and you continued working until you actually graduated and after right. graduation you joined anywhere right um, now you are in the construction segment, right, correct. for Enerware? Yes, correct. Um, how is it uh, like working as a female engineer, working in a male-dominated industry like the construction sector? Uh, it's actually great. Um, like any other profession or any other industry, it comes with challenges, one of which was male dominancy. But if you are able to demonstrate that you are an expert or understand what you are delivering to your client, you can easily overcome that challenge. Um, along with that, my team from Enerware, rather the entire department was very supportive and they always kind of pushed me to overcome not just one challenge, but many challenges that came in my way. Yes. Excellent. Um, thanks for sharing that. Let's now discuss B6 and, and the two projects that we'll look at today. And in a future video, we'll look at an, a third project, which is a large construction site. Today's construction sites are very small ones. Um, all of these construction sites are being powered by Enerware. Um, just if you could tell me a little bit about B6. Yes, yeah, so B6 is a construction group uh, based in Belgium. They are currently operating in the Middle East under the subsidiary of Six Construct. In 2017, B6 launched an initiative called BSIM, uh, which is short for B6 Site Installation Management 
which fell under their Unleash Innovation Program. The idea of this program was to sort of create sustainable solutions in all processes of construction, one of which was temporary power requirements. Okay, great. And, and how was Anaware able to support these initiatives for B6? Actually, Anaware was part of their first mock-up in May 2018 in the Mohammed bin Rashid Library Keywall project, where we installed our solar diesel hybrid system. Uh, the integration of renewables helped them towards their vision of the program, which was to reduce carbon footprint, to increase the overall efficiency on site, and to reduce costs. Okay, great. Um, okay, so let's go now yeah. to these two projects and yes. have a look there. Sure. Great. We're here now at the client side and basically behind us is this central power plant that is powering both of the client and different client projects. Both of them are with B6, one is over here and one is over there. Bushra, can you uh, tell us more about these projects and uh, the power plant yeah, here? Yeah, so towards my back, what you're seeing is one of our most recent projects with B6. And towards the front, we have our project that we've been running for about two years. This is the Dubai Shindaga Bridge site office for B6. Uh, here you see a conventional setup. We've got our diesel generators, we've got our fuel tank, our inverters, uh, solar inverters, our LV panel and the meter panel. Over here we have our solar car park, which is close to 100 kilowatt peaks of solar capacity. This solar car park contributes to almost 20% of the energy consumption of site. Excellent. Yeah. Great. So, and I guess uh, the benefit for the client is the lowest CO2 uh, emission. Uh, cost reduction, better service, monthly energy audits or reports. Um, great. And um, these both of them are from B6, these sites, right? Site yes. offices? Yes, correct. But the client obviously for some reason decided not to merge them, but yeah. uh, that's uh, not be in our control. Uh, thank you so much for your time thank and you. explaining and showing us these projects. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to Energy Lab uh, so that you don't miss any of the future videos. Thank you. Bye.